Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome back to our playthrough of Dragon Warrior, the first game in the Dragon Warrior series. As you can see by our level and hit points, I've done a little bit of leveling up. I also went ahead and got us the magic armor uh, from Rimaluk, if I remember that's the name. So you can see our stats there. We also have quite a few spells. Uh, and we'll be using the Radiant spell this time, actually, too, for a little bit better better view, because I figured out what to do. Well, I didn't really figure it out. I looked it up, because I got tired of trying to figure it out. So, in our last episode, we were trying to find the grave here in Granheim. I think that's the town's name. I'll probably mispronounce it. And we couldn't find it. I was searching everywhere and couldn't find it. But it turns out all I had to do was walk to this square and walk up frustrating. Now there was a guy in a previous town who told us about the third dark space and going through there, but I just didn't put two and two together because I'm a genius. So we are going to continue back here. Got an old guy talking here. What's up? The harp attracts enemies. Stay away from the grave of Garenham. Well, we have got to get that harp, so we are not going to stay away. Let's go ahead and head down here. It's dark. We're going to use the spell Radiant. We're going to actually be able to see more of the dungeon. Oh, this looks confusing. Uh, let's go... Oh, we're going to get lost in here. I can't think of a good system. This thing is just too big. Uh, let's just go this way. Nope! Oh, we're enough high enough level some of the monsters are running away. Well, that's a dead end. That didn't help us at all. Ah, uh, Skeleton. Take him out pretty easily. Awesome hit. Uh, let's see. Uh, anything over this way, or is this another dead end? Ooh, a poltergeist. And it ran away. Alright, that got us out of there, so not a dead end. We may have to just choose the wall and keep hugging it. Uh, I don't want to get lost in a dungeon. Seems that most of these enemies don't seem to pose us too much, too much threat overall, as I adjust the microphone. Ooh, we got treasure chests. Ooh. Oh, look at this. We're not taking very much damage. We have got plenty of hit points at this point from leveling, uh, so not too much to worry about. Oh, okay. So the Radiant spell slowly wears down to a smaller size, it would appear. Well, we will have to remember that. What happens if I use a torch? Let me see here. First, let's check these treasure chests. Some gold. Not very much. Some more gold. Uh, and an empty chest. Alright, what happens if we... Use one of our torches right now. Oh, it overrides the spell we had and makes our life worse. All right, well, I guess we're hugging the left-hand wall until we find a way out to the next set of stairs. And we're going to be lost in here, I can almost guarantee. Ooh, what's this? We got a magic door. Uh, let's use a key. Open that up. Now, uh, let's stay on the left-hand wall, Grug. Let's not get get ourselves lost and confused worse than we already are. Oh, I'm so tempted to go up. Oh, stairs down. All right, that is a good, good sign. Oh, do we just keep going down? Yes. My adventure sense says always go down when possible. My adventure sense was completely wrong. Looks like we're going back up. Alright, so that was just a, a sad dead end. And we're going the wrong way, by the way. Take that, wolf. Uh, we need to actually be going left wall if we're going to stick to the plan. Although we are probably going to get horribly lost. 
Although most of these enemies are pretty similar to the enemies where we've been grinding to buy more keys. We've already seen most of these enemies, so there's not much here to be concerned about. Oh, oh we got another downstair. If you remember, we're looking for the magic harp. So that we can take that over to the northern cave. Uh, let's just go down these stairs. Uh, see what we can find. Any treasure here? Ooh! A droll magi attacked. Let's see how tough he is. He's hitting us pretty good. Seven damage. Ah, uh, but not too bad. 87 gold. Holy moly. More of that, please. This is kind of a windy path. Maybe... A Druin Lord? Oh my goodness, we were fighting all kinds of cool stuff. Luckily, I brought a bunch of herb with us as well. To heal. If we need it... Oh, we got a treasure chest. What do we have? We found the Cursed Belt. Well, that's not something we probably actually want. We don't want any cursed items. We are looking for a harp. Oh, no. Okay, he just tried to stop people from casting magic. Strangely enough, not a big deal for us since we don't use a lot of magic. Not something we're terribly concerned with. Although, getting lost down here... Ooh, a Wolf Lord. Ooh, hits us for six. We got this. We got this, Wolf Lord. There we go. Yes, we're, we're doing okay. Uh, what's not doing okay, though, is our lack... This is where we came from, maybe? is our lack of magic harps. Which is what we are looking for. There's no magic harp here. Alright, that's the stairs. So we didn't check up. Oh, just more druid lords. Hmm. He thinks this is going to be a difficult dungeon to solve. Not for the monsters, but for the lack of light, as well as the size. This is a really big place so far. Kind of a little confusing, twisty and turny, if I do say so. And we have a couple stairs up top that we did not... Well, a couple areas up top in the level above this that we didn't really map out, so... We may have a lot more to look through. Oh, take it! There you go, Droll Magi. You got nothing. Uh, 49 health. I think we're okay. I think we can take anything that comes at us. Is this... Just a big circle that I've walked in? Okay, yeah, so that just leads back to where we were. Nothing there to help. We need to go back up a level. I think we have mapped out the whole level down here, from what I can tell. So let's get back up. Of course, there is a chance that we're missing stuff because we're not looking around. Let's, uh, let's do this. Let's recast Radiant. Just to make sure there's not something that we're missing. See, there's a staircase there I didn't even see before. Hmm. Mayhaps use of the Radiant spell will be required much more than I thought. Let's kill this droll magi. I said, let's kill this droll magi. There we go. This isn't a 
too bad a place to level, actually. Uh, let's see. So that's where we got the one treasure chest on the left, it's where we found the cursed belt. Oh, I should have bought some fairy water for this cave to uh, drive away the enemies. Should have thought to do that. Next time we go into a cave, I will probably have to remember to buy some fairy water. Because it's just stupid that we have to... Oh! Alright, there are some downward stairs. Here are some upward stairs. I feel like we need to get to... Ah, okay, this makes sense. Get out of our way, Warlock. So those stairs up there are the ones we took. Do these take us anywhere other than that? Okay, no. So I think we probably have to go up here. There was another set of stairs that we saw a little bit ago. That is a dead-end hallway. Droll Magi are just bound and determined. Look at them, they're ugly. Ugly creatures. But they are bound and determined to fight us here. Ooh. Oh man, where were those stairs that we just saw? What I wouldn't give to not have to have this torch effect on in, in these dungeons. Or a Wraith Knight! Ooh, that's a first! It's the first time we've ever fought one of these. Oh my goodness, do those hit hard. Well, we're going to have to watch out for that. Those things hit really hard. Wow. Okay. Alright. Oh, is the fighter's ring healing us? Because my health has been going up. I don't know. That's the only thing that's different. I've never noticed it before. No, oh, come on. Yes, our, we are getting our health back somehow. That has to be the fighter's ring. That is the only item we are wearing um, that is any different than what we had before. Alright, what do we have here? Kind of a big pool area. These stairs look important. <gasps> is this the, the, the thing we've been looking for? Is this it? Fortune smiles upon thee, Grugtar. Thou hast found the silver harp! Alright, we found it. To take the harp, we have to discard some other item. Dost thou wish to have the silver harp? Heck yes! Uh, we can get rid of a torch. Now let's drop thy torch and obtain the silver harp. Woo! Now, because we have leveled up, we can do something cool. We are not going to have to find our way out of this dungeon. We are just going to cast a spell. We're going to cast the outside spell. Takes six magic points and gets us out of there and to the overworld. Uh, let's go ahead and rest at the inn. Let's go ahead and rest at the inn again. Had to say it twice because we just forgot to do it the first time. Hey, buddy. Uh, yes, we'll pay 25 gold. Got a pretty good stockpile. Four grand sitting in our pocket. Yes, we did spend a good night. Thank you. All right, let's head back to the northern cave. It's going to be a bit of a walk, but I think we can manage it. Most of the enemies, if not all of them, between here and there should not be very difficult. Anytime we want to save, too, um, I have a spell now that lets us go right back to the castle Tangentel. Uh, so we can always return there. We don't have to buy wings anymore, either, so... We are cutting down on the amount of items we have to carry by having more spell power, which is cool. The only thing I worry about is I've been using heal quite a bit to heal myself when grinding. And it worries me if in a dungeon I don't know how many magic points I might need for the outside spell or something like that, that I might end up in a very bad spot. So I just need to be careful with our magic. But we don't need no magic for these red slimes. Take them out with ease, I say. Hopefully I can remember how to get where we need to go. 
If I remember correctly, we cross a bridge here. And get attacked every step of the way. There we go. Uh, and then there should be one more bridge that we cross so we can go up and around this mountain range just to our north that is blocking us. I think that was the way to get there. Alright. Cut around this way. Fight a ghost. We have no proton pack, but we can handle this. And... Ah, one a magic drakey. Ran away. Darn right you did. Another one here. Ran away. Oh, man. So many things want to pretend they want to fight us. If we can just kill this one, maybe the others will learn a lesson. And they will decide not to attempt to fight us in future. I doubt that, but you can always hope. This scorpion will pose no threat. There we go. Is this where we cut through? I think this is the spot. I don't have my map out right now, so it's kind of going off memory from our previous episodes. Yes, this is it. Here we go. And there is the northern cave. Head on down these stairs. And we are back, man. We are back and we have brought a treasure to give to you. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we want to use a talk command. That was brought the harp. Good. I have been waiting long for one such as thee. Take the treasure chest. Oh, he disappeared on us. That's crazy. Let's go ahead and take it. Fortress miles upon the Grugshard. Thou hast found the Staff of Rain. All right. I have no idea what that does. Let's take a look here. Staff of Rain. Grugtar held the Staff of Rain tightly, but nothing happened. Okay. Huh. So we have the Fighter's Ring and the Staff of Rain. I think that is two of the items that we need for our... Oh, seriously. Get out of our way, Skeleton. We're talking here. So that is two of the magic items that we need to progress through the game. So we are making progress. Folks, in the next episode, we'll be moving on to somewhere else. I'm not sure where. I'll need to consult the map. And we will be getting closer and closer, I think, to fighting the Dragon Lord. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please tell your friends. And as always, we hope to see you soon.